Welcome back to everyone. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like and to share it with anyone you believe might benefit from watching it. Please also remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And be sure to also leave a comment here and there. I believe it helps the algorithm suggest this channel to others who may not know the Lord Jesus Christ quite yet. Today's track is The Chaplain from Jack T. Chick. The Chaplain. Twenty o five by Jack T. Chick. They are in range. Fire. Death to all infidels. They are cutting us to pieces. Where's your God now, preacher boy? Dear Lord, we need your help. Please, in Jesus' name. Zing, zing. Nothing can save us now. Ten minutes later. Where did that wind come from? I can't see a thing. Cough, cough. The sand is blinding me. Pull back. Forty minutes later. Benny, look what God did for us. That wasn't God, preacher. Just a freak storm. We were lucky, that's all. Medic. Oh man, it's Max. They got him in the throat. Move it. That's the last one for this flight. Max is, one, is in one of these bags, but I don't know which one. Is Max in heaven, preacher? No, Benny. He died in his sins, and Jesus will reject him. How come? Is this Jesus guy some big deal up in heaven? Tell me what you know about Jesus, Benny. Uh, he was a Jew some guys killed on a cross because he wrote the Bible? Not quite. Chaplain's Headquarters What? Why do I have to go into combat? I'm needed here. Can't my assistant go? No, that's an order. You leave tomorrow at 0600 hours. Things are so quiet. So tell me about Jesus. He's not who you think he is, Benny. Jesus Christ created the universe. John 1.3, Colossians 1.16 A guy on TV said that Jesus was only a man. That's a lie, Benny. Jesus is God Almighty. He knows everything you've ever done. You're scaring me, preacher. John 1.1 1, 1 and 1 John 5.7 On Judgment Day, your life will be played back for all to see. But there's stuff I don't want anyone to know about. Those are sins, Benny. And they'll put you straight into hell. Does that mean I'm damned? You will be, but there is a way out. Then help me, preacher. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Matthew twelve thirty seven. Think about the guy you hate the most, and all the rotten things he did to you. Tex Wilson, and I hate his lousy guts. I want him dead. Would you die for Wilson? Are you kidding? For five cents, I'd kill that stinking rat. Jesus died for your sins, and for Wilson's too, Benny. Why would Jesus do a thing like that? Because he loves you. As rotten as you are, he really loves you. My mom doesn't even love me. Jesus does, Benny. He's like nobody on earth, because he's God. Look what God did for you. He left his throne in heaven to be born in a stinking stable. He showed people how to stay out of hell, and they hated him for telling the truth. They arrested him, framed him, and sentenced him to death. They beat him to a pulp, cursed him, and nailed him to a cross. And Jesus allowed it to happen. He held back his angels so he could shed his precious blood and die in your place. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 But three days later, something incredible took place. Jesus rose from the dead. The news rocked Jerusalem. Jesus had finished his mission and had a glorified body. Anyone who believes in him will be saved and have a body like his when they are raised from the dead. And if I don't, you'll die in your sins like Max and end up in the lake of fire. Choose Jesus now, Benny. You could be dead tomorrow and it'll be too late. Look, preacher, I'll break it up. We're moving out. Everybody into the trucks now. Chaplain, we'll be landing in one hour. Thank you. You'll be flown by chopper to the forward line. Oh, I hate this. They're breaking through our left flank. Grenade. Blam. Why did you do it, preacher? I couldn't let you die, Benny. You are not ready. Cough, cough, ugh. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John fifteen thirteen. Four days later. Men, this is Chaplain Davis, our new chaplain. This is Captain Davis, our new chaplain. He's here to help you with any spiritual problems. Whatever your faith is, men, I'm available for prayer or counsel. Chaplain, my best friend fell on a grenade to save us. That was indeed a noble gesture, but it killed him, and he always talked to me about Jesus. He was a great guy, never swore or lied. We called him preacher. Was he ordained? What's that? Did he graduate from a theological seminary? Could he read Greek or have a doctorate in divinity? Huh? All I know is he loved Jesus and read his Bible. That doesn't make him a preacher, soldier. I suppose he told you that the Bible was true and that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Yes, sir. Well, he was wrong. There are many ways to heaven. Mary, Buddha, Allah, besides, we're all children of God. Uh, the preacher said that's a lie. Careful, I'm a man of God, but your friend was just a wannabe. You're dismissed, soldier. The preacher died for me, not that snotty little creep. I believe the preacher. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save me. Next day. Hey, chaplain, I got saved. You sick idiot. You didn't listen to me. Now you become a religious terrorist and a threat to everyone. Stay away from me. The unit is on the move. Want to sit in the back with us, chaplain? Hardly. I'm an officer, and I don't sit with Bible thumpers. That's okay. I'm praying for you anyway. Something wrong, chaplain? Yes. I've spent years studying theology and getting my doctorate. I've published papers in leading journals. I'm not getting the respect. At that moment, they hit a landmine. Kaboom. There are no survivors. Their lives are reviewed. Because you believed, I died for you. Welcome into heaven. Well done, Benny. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Now the chaplain. You were ashamed of my words and acted holy to impress others. Your hidden sins are exposed. Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Luke 9.26 and Matthew 25.41 Will you humble yourself like Benny and give yourself to Jesus? Or will you be stubborn and pretend you don't believe in God? If you are like the chaplain, you'll be with him to hear his screams. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31 
The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9. 1. Admit you are a sinner. See Romans 3, 10. 2. Be willing to turn from sin. Repent. See Acts 17, 30. Number 3. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose from the dead. See Romans 10, 9 through 10. Number 4. Through prayer, invite Jesus into your heart to become your personal Savior. See Romans 10, 13. What to pray? Dear God, I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. If you trusted Jesus as your Savior, you have just begun a wonderful new life with Him. Now, 1. Read your Bible, the KJV, every day to get to know Jesus Christ better. KJV stands for King James Version. Number 2. Talk to God in prayer every day. Number 3. Be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. Number 4. Tell others about Jesus Christ. Ultimately, the most important thing is to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Everything else will fall in line if your heart is in the right place. Accepting Jesus is really all you need to do.